Hello and welcome back to 16 Years and Adkin Free. You find me in the town of either Bibbury or Bibbury, I'm not too sure. And there's lots and lots of people. I mean lots of people. The town is actually quite ramo, it is unreal. And everybody's just jumping into everybody else's photos. It's absolutely madness. Quite funny. Oh, a kid that wants a, doesn't want their picture taken. Amazing the way it goes. But it is a picturesque village, I must admit. Very, very, very picturesque. You know, you've got people with their own... You've got people with their tripods going along here. I think they're doing it through a different channel than the, the one I'm doing it for. <laughs> I thought she was taking a photo. Maybe she is, maybe she's not. It's all good fun. Right, anyway, as we're heading off into town, uh, I'm going to go and find myself a pub because it's quite bloody warm. And, uh, well, why not? You know, it's a sunny day. It's a good Friday. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's actually, it's five o'clock here. I can lie about that because... Uh, but no, it isn't. I don't know what the time is. Do you know what the um, time is, by the way? Time. 1.50. Oh, pint o'clock, yeah. 1.50, pint o'clock it is. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's famous for its uh, trout farming. Because up the upper end of town, if we ever get there, um, it's actually a trout farm with Crazy Golf, big shop and everything like that. And it's got this lovely river that runs right the way through it. My word. And it's uh, quite... Oh, poor Pooch. You can see it looks lovely and calm and tranquil this side. And we're waiting for these kids to go past. Old Karate Kid there. And then if you go to this side, after going through the bridge, it's all turbulent. And you can actually see, as you're walking down here, uh, brown trout that are actually in the river. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. This gives you a clue on how busy it is. And it's only a small, small little town. That's the madness of it. Absolute madness. And there's people taking pictures. I think it's more to do with this old looking village if we get a bit further up here. You know what that's? There we go. It's more to do with that old little village. I don't know, it's been in some program or something like that. And I suppose where I've been travelling so much around the British Isles, they become ten a penny to me. I've seen them in Ireland, I've seen them in Scotland, I've seen them in Wales, I've seen them all over England. But yeah, it's picturesque. I'll give it that. It is picturesque. Uh, you know, some of these people might have not ever seen an old village like this uh, ever before. And the stonework is still indicative, you can tell I've learnt a new word, indicative um, of the Cotswolds, really. It really is, it's like a, a sandstone, almost. You have to excuse the sun. I can, as you can tell, I can't move very fast. And I'm so lucky that I parked up at the uh, campsite. It might be £25, you know, £29 for the night. Excuse me as I get through here. Um, yeah, £29 for the night, which has only got two toilets and one shower. But if it's ever as busy as this, it's only a quick walk. And I mean, 10 minute walk into town, and you'll be grateful. Because when I was driving back through this place um, to get to the uh, campsite, it took me a fair old while. Well, it actually took me longer to walk through the town and uh, to drive through the town than it did to walk from the campsite to into town. Oh. Lovely people everywhere. <laughs> it's not busy at all. <laughs> yeah, I've got some people to smile. When I was walking into town, it was very hard to get anybody to actually smile. But at least people are smiling now. And you can see in these, um, you know, towns and whatnot. Wait for the car not to run me over. The anyway, um, architecture is pretty much the same. Oh, look at that. You've got some beautiful blossoms coming out on that tree. Oh, it's nothing quite like having a bit of blossom <coughs> to fill that extra spring. I had church bells this morning. You've got the birds cheeping. You've got blossom coming out on the trees and the bushes and all the foliage. It's it's all right, this. This is all right. Right, let's see. Oh, all right, buddy. Right, let's see if I can get myself into the nearest pub because there's a pub called the Swan here and then you've got one that's called the Catherine Wheel that's up the upper end. And they've got a, a, a red telephone box with a telephone in it with no smash windows. You know, I'll take a photo of that because that is a rarity. I think you've got more chance of seeing the Loch Ness Monster than you have one of those. Oh my word, and it's still busy, busy, busy. And it's all ethnicities here. I mean, all, you know, everything from Eastern Europeans to, you know, uh, Asians, South Asians, well, Eastern Asians, English. But one thing I am going to guess is I think a lot of them all come from the city. I don't think there's many locals here. 
apart from the two locals back there that were sunbathing in their garden, looking at everybody, it's like, yes, we get this every day. And then there's another lady that's sunbathing, literally, what, two foot from, thank you very much, and two foot from um, where the path from the road goes past the house. And she looks like she's sound though, so can't really argue with that. Somebody with a cool hat back there. My word. Yes, you can give a clue on how busy it really, really is. Right, as we get up here, we've got the swan across there, and then you've got the rest of the village. Only a small village. Literally, I've, I've been at one end of the village, and I'm pretty much three quarters of the way through it now. Right, well. Oh, there's a lovely swan down there with some ducks saying hello to each other. Right, well, I'm going to jump up on the wall. I'm actually going to get told off for this, but it means I can get to move a bit quicker. <laughs> and I stopped getting in everybody's face. Right, if you give me a layout of the town, you're right. It's a dead end. Layout of the town. Right, I've just come from down there where you've got a lovely little part of the village up there. And then you've got this river that runs all the way through and then goes up that way as well. And over there is where you've got the trout farm where you can catch your own trout, buy a trout, do some walking around. Um, there's a camping shop, a normal shop there, a cafe there. And then the uh, campsite that I'm in is just over the back of them trees. And then you've got the rest of the village and just the opposite side of that building there is where the ladies babies in, some bathing. And then right up is where the Catherine wheel is. And right down here, doesn't matter what turn, no, it doesn't matter what way I turn around, I'm going to end up with somebody in my pictures. On video, shall I say. And that is the Swan Pub, which I'm going for a pint and try not to get run over at the same time. <laughs> oh, this is craziness. Welcome to the Swan. My word. And there's somebody there with a, one of them rain mat jackets on. She must be boiled. Absolutely boiled. Somebody with some ripped jeans, Saab there. We will actually get across this road to a pint. It's going to be a well-deserved pint as well. Right, and I'm going to try and keep on filming while I get my pint. Sorry, bud. <coughs> oh, right, what sort of food we got here? Starts, mate. Uh, trout, spinach, gnocchi, truffle uh, glazed chicken. Yeah, I think I'll go in for a pint here and then have something to eat up the other one. We don't really know at the moment. But I don't know if I go in, go in to have a pint. All right, yeah, going in to have a pint. All right, here we go. Ooh, we've got the old reindeer around the uh, lighting work here. And it's a little bit cooler in here, amazingly. Oh, well, I'm going to have to change hands here. You're right, buddy. All right, what beers have we got? Uh, we've got uh, an Asian beer, Cornish Shiner, beer Moretti, or an Amstel. Oh, I think I'm going to go for the Rim Moretti. Oh, wow. Well. I think they're starting to get into their busy time of year. I forgot all about these busy times. You know, travelling for 11 and a half months. I've gone through the busy times, into the really busy times, into the really, really busy times. Watched it get quiet, watched it go dead. Watched it become ghost towns like when I was up in Scotland over the winter. And then all the way back to it getting busy again. It is a mad experience when you're going through the entire... Uh, the entire of the British Isles, seeing it step by step, you know, I might have to do it again for the next year and do it the opposite way round and see what it's like in different places at different times. Yeah, but I have a pint of beer, beer and Mercy. Oh, uh, I'm still there, mate. I should have noticed that, it's got glass on top. So you right for trying to do a YouTube video rather than looking. How do you pronounce this town? Is it Bibri or Bibri? Bibri. It is Bibri. There you go. I knew if I tried both ways, it would actually uh, one of them had to be correct. Don't worry, I've been destroying names all over the UK. Oh, that's everyone does. Well, I've just come out of Wales, so you can imagine what I've been doing to their four names. <laughs> there we go. That's that. Can the receipt as well, please, mate? It's about the only thing I've got of every pub that I've been going around. Thank you very much, buddy. All right, are we allowed to smoke outside? Yeah, mate. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. I don't know. How much. This should be a balance in that. Cheers, buddy. Right, there we go. You have to look up your nostrils for a bit. I know I shouldn't smoke. It's bad for you and everything like that. Now all I've got to do is find myself a table that's out of the way, which I can't really do. Uh, 
No. All right, I'll go here. There's less children here than there is anywhere else. There we go. One table. One pint. And that is a quick tour through Bybury on a lovely sunny Good Friday's afternoon. Can't really argue with that. Top tip though, if you're coming here, either get a coach in, get somebody else to drive, or you come and camp up because it'll be a lot easier parking there than it is to try and drive, drive through this place. It is absolute murder, but well worth it. It is a picturesque place, loads of people here, you know, for the most part, all the locals are really friendly unless they're sunbathing and then they just don't talk to you. And then of course you've got all the city slickers that come down here and think everything is, you know, owned by themselves. But that's a part and parcel of anywhere else you go. Other than that, we'll see what the rest of the week, Easter weekend brings. And on that note, like I always say, take it easy, keep adventuring, and I love you, bye.